Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. As always, guys, you're invited to join us on our Patreon. We do exclusive videos on Patreon, usually two, sometimes three times a week. Uh, go into a little bit more depth there on certain subjects, and it's just a lot of fun. And we have a new Patreon. We wanted to say a huge thank you to Miss Brenda. Thank you so much, Brenda. Uh, again, Brenda is is one of our growing family over there, and we invite you guys as well to come and join us. Well, we had a fire in Dallas yesterday. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the quote is, this is insane. You can see a little spire there. It was a church, the First Baptist Church Dallas, founded in 1868, led by Dr. Robert Jeffress, is burning to the ground. Interesting to see the uh, fire here at a, you know, it's not the first church um, that has faced this in Dallas. It's curious. There's There's been some... Uh, fires of suspicious note and you know even just saying that in this point in time uh, as YouTube we did a video today talking about um, a video removal on YouTube and YouTube has a whole category now uh, for dangerous conspiracy theories yeah literally so if we if do we if we say something like well is this suspicious uh, you know, what if other people that are professionals say, well, you know, it does seem quite suspicious, but is that a CONS piracy theory in and of itself? Again, this is the world that we live in, and this is the control system controlling um, the minds, hearts, and faiths of so many on this planet. Heartbreaking to hear that the historic First Baptist Church of Dallas on fire. Somebody said they heard an explosion. Uh, foul play? Hmm. We'll have to see again. Uh, it's curious. When you look at this church, uh, it does have quite a following. This is Pastor Robert Jeffress. And this is from three years ago. So this is the actual pastor. Uh, he was interviewed with the church going down. And you could see, I put the closed captions on so you can see uh, how the questioning went. This is on CBN News, by the way. And so, you know, the interview here, interviewer here is, is asking him, what is your advice to Christians? So, again... When you are a certain religion, your background is a certain religion, there is some expectancy uh, that you will listen to the religious authorities. Uh, maybe take what they say a little bit more into consideration uh, when they speak, especially somebody that maybe is the head of a very, very large congregation, has a lot of influence. And so you know, what what he says, this was three years ago, asking whether they should or shouldn't. And so he's, he just said, you know, for the last 10 months, millions have been praying for healing, for relief. And so he's, his personal belief was that you can see. So, I don't know if there is anything more powerful than religion when it comes to controlling the minds of the masses. You know, and, and really, again, politics is a religion for some. And for some, technology is their new religion as well. I guess that's where we come from. We point out the understanding that, look, how controlling this is it always has been it simply it changes faces it, it changes times it, it changes words but it still is such a controlling force and to me when i look at this i mean this guy has a lot of backing he has tons of influence he has so many people looking up to him so many people that are in pain and looking for guidance so many people that are vulnerable and saying, help me, help me, help me. And here's his answer. And now what? Now what happened to all of those people that took his advice because G-O-D said so? 
I don't know. Y- yeah, you know, and and again, it, when you look at the rest of his uh, curious answer here, he says it's 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 like calling nine one one when your house is on fire, and then refusing to allow the firemen into your home. I wonder, you know, what isn't that that almost feels very ironic because his house was on fire, um, so to speak, because, you know, he is again the pastor there. Hmm. Isn't this curious? Isn't this curious? Yeah, isn't this curious? Really, it's a, it's a case of uh, follow, follow the money, fo- follow the power, fo- follow the influence. And look at their fruits and, you know, judge them by their fruits, so to speak. You know, here you have um, David again saying, you know, the obvious. And, uh, you know, out of all the people that have reached millions and millions and millions, and I don't include us in that, even though um, by the stats they give, we probably have reached maybe 30 million uh, views um, somewhere around there, uh, 30, 40 million possibly all time. He is the one person that has seemed to me uh, to be not picking any sides, really, truly. And that's just my my perception of it. But again, he talks about 45 and, and you know, his, his choice for VP. And, you know, we've seen a lot of kisses on a certain wall. Um, And we see how they are all tied together, you know, when you see this. Now, that of the conservative um, biblical perspective is more behind 45. So, you know, again, this is how uh, there's this division that goes along certain lines and you'll see people that will excuse Israel of anything that they do, anything, because it goes back to the B-I-B-L-E and it, it's it's just, you know, again, part of this control matrix. Now recognize too that this is also a program in which it, it, it sets trains on the same track coming from different directions with the ultimate knowledge that these trains are going to collide and it's going to cause a huge, huge disaster. In Germany, you know, here you have a young man being interviewed and he, uh, these are all quotes taken from this interview. Everyone who calls himself a Muslim must want Sharia across the entire world. According to the writings, if you're if you are the majority, we are ordered to capture Germany. That's why liberal Islam does not exist. Uh, you know, again, I and I'm sure most of us don't want to be under Sharia law. I certainly would never convert to Islam or Christianity uh, because. It's like been there, done that, understand the concepts, recognize that what we have is a distortion of what was the original intention. The original intention got washed away and wiped out. And most people don't understand that, that, you know, it wasn't until like 300 years after, uh, you know, the real historical Yeshua was here, that everything was put together, pieced together and and brought into being in a in a very, very, very. Um, politicized way to create a system which could unite where Christianity was spreading like wildfire, but it was not controllable. So they had to make a controlled version, and they did. And that's what the the mainstream is. Uh, Those that had other beliefs like the Gnostics and many other groups were labeled heretics and were persecuted into oblivion. And, you know, just really the uh, mainstream control system narrative was what existed and was, you know, spread all over the world. Again, the Bible is the number one most published book of all time, 
followed by the works of Mao, and then followed by the Koran. So here you go. All three of those are part of the same control system. Could be uncomfortable, uh, and it will be uncomfortable for many. Uh, and by, that, by the way, with that massive, massive IT outage, Maricopa County elections experiencing an outage at some voting locations, uh, yeah, you know, can, can we see what's cooking for November? If we ever get to November in the same uh, world situation that we have. AI, AI, look at AI. Look at the ultimate goal. It's the merger of humans with technology. This is the ultimate goal. Absolutely. And uh, they will feel no more pain and death will not ha be able to hold on to them because because they're going to be merged with robotics and when they need a new heart that gets replaced a new kidney a liver that gets replaced until they're more again machine than men and women this is given to us in in star wars as you know anakin skywalker anakin anakim from your biblical giant point of view uh Anunnaki, so obvious. Skywalker, there you go again, becomes Darth Vader or Dark Father. Dark Father. The Anunnaki are the Dark dark Fathers. And they are, again, more, at least the Draconian ones, they are more machine than organic at this point. This is what the control system wants, ultimately. This is what the control system is selling. This is what Elon is selling. And, and yeah, it can be pretty uh, wild to watch. This is in Vegas. Look at the size of this. this the, the globe, the sphere. That, that is pretty freaky, seeing a robotic cyborg giant getting ready to come out and walk through Vegas. Mm -hmm. I know, I know. You know, I'm looking at his suit, and I remember a channeling I did not too long ago with these beings that were inside of these suits and they were like white and they were metal and this is really close rendition this is not stuff that i keep up on or look at but it is curious that it it has shown up um i mean these look very much like the people that i saw in these uh sort of kind of towns that were really all there was to them was a brain and a spinal cord and the suits were set up to read the information uh, from, I guess you might call it the Internet of Things all around them, which controlled them to the highest degree possible. And I, I think that's where the controllers want to go. Absolutely. You know, and this might be a whole video unto itself. This is uh, also from that group uh, that you're seeing being advertised. Um, you know, I think there is some good to be had in the digital world. I think there is some good to be had in technology. Um, but I think it's also very much proceed with caution when you talk about the merging of technology with ourselves. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want any part of that myself. And you got to love the spunk of this little guy, don't you? Little but feisty and organic. Let's just stay organic. It's cute. It is. And, you know, at the core of all religions, I really think when people go searching into religions, they're searching for love. They're, they're searching for compassion. They're searching for fellowship. They're searching for friendship. They're searching for family. We could have all that. We don't need the dogma. No, we do not. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.